Hey guys, Kev here, KevWestBeats.com. Today I want to talk about plugins, and I want to talk about free plugins, and I want to talk about piracy, because piracy just makes me angry. It makes me just very angry, because you are taking a product that somebody has spent days, months, weeks working on to perfect. They've made a great product that's probably cost thousands of dollars to make, and you're complaining because you don't want to spend $99 on it. And most of it's because you don't know how to flip that $99 and turn it into a thousand. You know, that's not the plug in developer's fault. That's your, that's kind of your fault. I hate to say it like that, but it's really the truth. Um, so, but what I am going to talk about here is, you know, I want to discourage piracy. So what I want to do is show you guys some free alternatives. So you guys some quality, great alternatives. And the first thing I want to show you guys are some of my favorite plugins from probably my favorite plugin developer, or at least one of them, IK Multimedia. Uh, IK, yeah, most people know them for their i stuff, their iRig keys, iRig, um, you know, all the iOS stuff. But people forget they were making computer stuff, before, stuff for the computer, stuff for Mac and PC way before they touched iOS. And a lot of people forget that. Um, so what we are going to go to is their um, software and plugins. And you see, well, Kev, this is supposed to be about free plugins. Why do we see all these prices? Custom shop free for the ampl for Amplitude. I started off with this. I've been making music with plugins for really about a year and a half. I've been making music uh, off and on since um, between 2000 and 2003. 2003, I decided, you know, this is really something that I want to do. I bought Reason 2.0. I used that until about version 4, went hardware for a couple years, came back with Reason 5 and record, but after having that hardware, it made me, I missed the power of choice. So I started looking at VSTs, and this is like, I started looking at like literally six months before rack extensions, and I just started buying up VSTs, and I fell in love with the format. Um, not to say that, you know, Reason's bad, I like Reason, I like rack extensions, but there are so many free VSTs out there that sometimes I feel like maybe it's a more cost-effective option because you can get almost everything from Reason with a quality free VST. Now, here's the secret. Use reputable companies like IK Multimedia or even, say, Native Instruments. They have some free ones I'm going to do it in another video. Um, Native Instruments have some great free plugins. Um, and the thing with the free plugins that you get from the reputable companies, they're usually just scaled-down versions of their big plugins like Amplitube's Custom Shop. It's a few different pieces from Amplitube, a few effects. Keep in mind that most of the effects we use in plugins, people were doing that before uh, originally with guitar pedals and guitar effects and using those in the ways we would use effects now. Well, or effects they would use them in the context of back then, but you know. That's how you got your reverbs. You know, they came from, sometimes from pedals, though they were meant to emulate room noise. You got a lot of delay pedals. People would use delay pedals because you didn't want to buy this big delay box. Um, choruses, flangers, what have it. A lot of it came from guitar pedals or cabinets, like a lot of guitar stuff. And people would just use it on whatever because they wanted that sound, but they didn't. But it was cheaper to get it for guitar. Take that same concept and do it with Amplitude. And you can do it with Amplitude free. I used Amplitude free for like eight months and I waited for it to go on sale from IK and then I scooped it up. Um, there's another guy in here, um, Sample Tank Free. I've been, and I got onto Sample Tank Free. This was actually the first plugin that I really dove into and really started messing with when I considered making the jump to VSTs for just using Reason. Um, and it's great. It's really easy to use. Yes, it's only 32-bit. Sample Tank 3 should be out um, later this year. And from what I understand, they are going to use the same kind of model that they're doing with Sample Tank 3. It's going to be the newer version. Um, and basically, you have the free player. Any sounds that you have with it, um, to my understanding, this is what I've seen guys from IKC on the internet. Um, it'll have you know some new sounds. You can buy more sounds for it. And um, you can import sounds into it now if, of course if you buy the commercial version the big difference is it just comes with more sounds that's the main difference here i talk to a lot of people here oh yeah and by the way sample tank 2 is on sale right now for 40 bucks uh from ikc right here i want to say it's on to like july the 10th i think it is um so right now it is july the 2nd and i'm going to probably put this video out um maybe later today or tomorrow whenever i get around to editing it but 
Sample Tank is an awesome plugin. I made a video a year ago called I Love Sample Tank, and that is the truth. Sample Tank is one of my absolute favorite plugins. It's like a workstation. So you have your motifs, your phantoms, um, you know, Tritons back in the day, M3s. I don't even know what one quirks on now. I think they're on the Chronos, so Chronos or whatever it's called. This is in the same vein of that. So if you're comparing the sample or um, contact, you're kind of missing the point here um, because they're a different class, different kind of instrument. Um, con contact is basically like they're going to emulate this piano, and it's four. It's a four gig piano. You know, sample tank is about loading fast, um, so you're getting something like I said, or like a Jupiter 80 or Ju or Juno D or Juno D or something G. I mean, something like that where you just load a sound and it plays really fast and it sounds good because you play it. That's what sample tank is. Um, so let's throw the contact comparisons out right now because Sample Tank is Sample Tank is one of the best plugins out there. Um, like I said, my only beef with Sample Tank is that it's not 64-bit, and that's only because I don't want to install my other um, plugins in 32-bit versions. Everything I do is 64-bit. Um, I use Sample Tank with JBridge; it works, but I'm still ready for Sample Tank three. Um, so that said, going back to Sample Tank. It's just a lot of sounds, the same engine, everything in Sample Tank is actually exactly the same in Sample Tank Free as it is in the commercial version. I have the commercial version, but before that I used the free version. And if you look here, you see it says get you started and familiar with Sample Tank. It's the same stuff that's in there. Sample Tank L comes with two with a two gig sound library. I think the original the free version comes with like half a gig. Which you know, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for a workstation like this, it's a ton of sounds. And then you get the full version of Sample Tank. That's like six, six or eight gigs of sounds. It's a lot of sounds. And it's a lot to get you started with. And for 40 bucks especially, this is an amazing deal for um, this guy. But Sample Tank is just, it's a great all-around workstation. And it's a great tool to get you started with. Also, let's talk about um, Amplitude Free or the Amplitude Custom Shop. You know, and even the T-Rex Custom Shop, because there's some cool stuff in there, too. There's a bunch of effects that'll help you get started mixing and making music, and that's what's important. You know, there's no reason to pirate stuff. You could use the free sample tank, free apple tube, and free T-Rex, and be good. You know, there's not really a lot of reasons to have to pirate anything, you know? And I think people do that, and they use it as a cop-out. Um, but here's, you see the free gear. This is the free stuff that you just start off with. And there are tons of other free EQs and compressors and stuff you can use too. But you see here, you get the EQ, um, you get the metering stuff, and metering is important. People don't, I don't think, think as much about metering. Um, but basically, what, you, what it is is you want to know how loud things are relevant to different setups. So say, yeah, my meter and amp and um, live might say one thing, um, but I can put this the IK metering on my master to get another reference to see, okay. Am I really clipping or is maybe this meter just a little more um, sensitive? You know, see what I mean? Or maybe it's not sensitive enough. You know, this gives you kind of some variety and variability or whatever. So anyway, long story short, free, plug free plugins are amazing. Check out Sample Tank Free. Check out Amplitude and T-Rex Free. All free from IK Multimedia. I'm going to put a description in the, uh, um, a link in the description below. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a few more of these videos where I'm going to talk about cheap plugins or free plugins. Because there's so much good, cheap, or free stuff out there. And when I say cheap, I don't mean cheap as in it sounds bad. I mean cheap as in um, a, a compressor I like. It's called the DC-8C. I'll do another video on it um, another day. It's 25 bucks. It is one of the best compressors I've ever used in the software world. You know, it's a great plugin by an independent um, plugin developer who I don't think he realized he's selling himself short because when I say that, like, pe people would probably make a compressor like this for like 100, 200 bucks. He's giving it out for 25 bucks. You know, like, it's it's amazing. So, I'll talk to you guys next time. Check out KevWestBeats.com. Thanks for watching.